you went from being a stay-at-home mom trying to figure stuff out to now working at UCLA. How amazing. Awaken the leader inside. Follow the path of leadership. Never give up. Never stop trying. Get up. Believe in yourself. Not every day is going to be easy, but you've got to challenge yourself. You need courage. Be ready. Stop waiting for it to happen. Go make it happen. Harness the power within. You are destined to be a leader. Follow the path of leadership. Awaken the leader inside. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is David. I'm your host here at Awaken the Leader Inside. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm still a little sick. Uh, it turns out that I had a severe sinus infection and, you know, I get on antibiotics and all the steroids and all this other crap. So it's been kind of interesting the last uh, the last week or so. But uh, I'm back. I'm uh, feeling a little bit better. Still have congestion and all that good stuff. But hey, I wanted to talk to you guys. I want you I want you guys to think about some things that, you know, my wife and I were talking about actually last night. And so I, I want to share this with you and I want to give you some insight as we kind of reflected on some things that happened. And I'm hoping one day to actually have my wife on this podcast because I think her journey and where she's at right now in life is just amazing to know, you know, the choices that she made. Uh, the hard decisions that she made uh, to go back to school when we had like a four month old, you know, at the time, our, our youngest, Matthew, and and to see how that's blossomed, uh, it's, it's just remarkable because I think, I think a lot of us uh, kind of can't see that far out, can't see that, hey, the decisions that you are making right now. And, and some of them are hard and some of them were, are some things are going to happen to you that can defeat you and deflate you. But the, the decisions that you make to either quit or keep fighting for something, they're going to pay off at some point. And when it does, it's like it's the most amazing thing to watch. And so I think what I was thinking about as I was driving to work today is, you know, do I don't let me ask you a question because I'm not sure how to phrase it. So I'm going to put it more in a question. Do you believe that that when you make mistakes that they that they somehow don't matter. And what I mean by that is when we make mistakes, can those mistakes turn out to be the best thing that could have happened to you? Most people are going to say, hell no, because they think about what's happening at that moment. They think about the pain or, you know, feeling defeated or somehow, you know, feeling less than who they are because of, you know, you had goals to do something and then it gets ripped away from you. And I'm going to be transparent as I've always have, man. That's just life. Like, I, I, I want to tell you that, you know, as we, we dig in this year and I share, you know, more, more personal things because I think this podcast has grown beyond just leadership. This is about life. There's one thing you're going to have to learn to accept. And it's really hard for people in the real world, not not necessarily in, you know, I guess in as a leader in a, working for a company, but in life, you're going to deal with hardships no matter what. Life is going to suck. There's going to be unpredictable things that that are ripped away from you at, at moments that you can't even can't even plan, can't even foresee. That's how unpredictable life is. And, and what I mean by corporate level and all that in the job is that you have some sense of control. But, but I'm seeing like in life, you can't predict that you walk in one day <clears throat> and they let you go. You don't, I mean, absolutely no planning just because the economics and a company is like, sorry, we, we got to remove positions. Boom, you're out of a job. And or, you know, some, somebody close to you, you know, uh, succumbs to cancer. Like there's things that happen to us in life that are demoralizing, that can disrupt our life, that can kind of force us into this cocoon. Because I think we all have it that we just want to, <coughs> excuse me, we just want to kind of bury ourselves in this cocoon because life is is getting too hard. Let me tell you something. And the reason why I'm bringing this up today is because this is something that, you know, I'm hoping my wife can share her version of it versus me just recapping it. But this this kind of stuff happens to all of us. Now, when I met my wife, 
you know, she was uh, trying to figure stuff out. It's true. She was trying to figure out where to go in her life, what she wants to do, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I had already established my career and I knew where I was kind of going. Well, kind of. Uh, I had to switch jobs after so that I can take care of our family, right? So I could support us financially. But I kind of knew what I can do and I knew that I, what, where I wanted to go. And ironically, that choice led to this podcast because on that journey is when I realized, man, I need to grow more as a leader. So ironically, that choice led to this podcast not even a year later is when I started the podcast. So how ironic that those choices. But I want you to think about these choices that you make are going to build or tear down whatever direction you're trying to go in. And with my wife, she was trying to figure some stuff out. I mean, we're all there. We all feel that at some point, we're like, damn, what are we going to do? Like, What am I going to do with my life? Should I go back to school? Should I whatever? And the answer is yes. I'm going to tell you hands down right now, if you have an opportunity to go back to school, do it. And I'm a firm believer that education helps open your mind, helps you see the world through a different lens, and can help prepare you for the world. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. Education is key, man. It is. So, but to see my wife have to make this hard decision when we just had a newborn, <clears throat> four months old, excuse me, my, my throat's still bothering me, to make that decision to go back to school. And like I said, I want her to share her story, but I want to kind of share at least how difficult that was. And she had ups and downs and, and, I, you know, there was moments where I know she wanted to quit and all this kind of stuff because it was hard not being there for the family. And I kind of had to take on a different role, which was hard for me, too, because I was working, you know, 60 hours a week and taking on dad duties by myself at night for like two years, you know, and doing, the you know, all this stuff, podcasts and all this stuff. Right. And, you know, it's I, I just want you to know that even though that was hard, it got harder for her. You know, so now we, and this kind of, and the reason why I want to share this is because, you know, we, we finished school she finishes school and now, you know, she has opportunities to go out and meet employers or whatever, and, and eventually finds a job. And guess what? That job doesn't work out 60 days later, you know? And at that moment, I remember how difficult that was, how difficult and demoralizing that was, you know? because she felt she was coming off that high, graduated, whatever, got her first job out of school and all that. And then boom, life just smacks you in the face. And that decision led to her searching for a different job. And how ironic, I'm going to tell you right now, and I didn't even think about it until we had this conversation. The last podcast was about jumping careers you know, and that was from experience. My wife did the same exact thing. She went to school for one thing and I'm not going to give it all away because I want her to share this at some point, but she did find a job using those skill sets, but it was not that title. It had nothing to do with what she went to school with, but the company was looking for people that were experienced doing some uh, radiology type stuff, right? And she got a job. And, you know, as she kind of went through the next year working with this company, whatever, but it led to this opportunity of working for UCLA. So here, (coughs) excuse me, my throat's killing me. So here you have somebody a few years ago that was a stay at home mom trying to figure out stuff. And three years later, she's working for UCLA. How does that happen? Like those <clears throat> setbacks, excuse me, those setbacks and those, you know, mistakes of, of, of wanting to give up or whatever, like every choice that we make, every choice that we make is going to lead to some type of outcome. The amazing thing is that I got to witness her journey in understanding and finally having the moment that we sat down last night and we we're talking about this journey of how how many times she wanted to give up and how ironic that those that setback of being, you know, let go from this company that she just started was like the best thing that ever could have happened to her was the best thing. Now, at the time, it sucked. But but as you look back and reflect, it kind of begs to ask the question, how many things in our life has like something happened to us, something bad has happened to us or something unexpected has happened to us? And it forced us to make life decisions and and that led to positive outcomes. And I'm going to tell you, I look back on my life and it's happened so many times. It's unbelievable. 
And, and it's like those moments taught me something about myself. Those moments taught me that, okay, there's a difference between doing something that you don't like or maybe doing something that, that just didn't work out and, and and not letting it affect you. And what I, what I mean by that is that there was no bad experiences that happened to us. It's only bad if you allow it to infect who you are and infect, you know, your positivity. But when I look back on everything that's had a negative kind of turn in my life, I've used it as a launch pad to say, I need to go that way now. This didn't work out. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I was talking to my wife. Like I said, you know, at the moment that, that they let you go, I'm sure you felt like a failure. And she's like, yeah, I said, you weren't a failure. You already made it. You went to school, you know, and, and you overcame that while raising an infant and the rest of our kids. And you were already successful. But the thing is, it just didn't work out. And that is the difference. That's a different mindset to understand that crap just doesn't work out sometimes. That's just the way it is versus, man, I'm a complete failure because because it didn't work out the way I wanted to. That's the difference between the people that blame, you know, their failures on other than those to say, man, man, that sucked. You know, that's happened to me. I'm like, mm, sucks. I'm going to have to leave this career because it just didn't work out. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'll find another one. Right. So. I want to I want you to really think about that question like are the failures in your life are they really setbacks or are they really opportunities for you to find yourself and rediscover what you have to do next cuz I'm going to tell you something man and I want to share this I've been meaning to share this with you guys I want you to understand a mindset that I've had my whole life and it's something that I've understood about myself and it's something that I learned to use as a tool, right? Whenever something has happened to me, whenever my back is against the wall and I feel like I'm failing or I feel like I'm on the verge of possibly failing, that's when the best comes out at me. That's when the best comes out where I'm like, I can't let that happen. So now I'm going to throw it into another gear. I'm going to throw everything I have inside me at that because I will not allow that to happen. So that way, I at least have peace of mind that I gave it everything I have. And it's okay if it doesn't work out because I know that I did everything in my power to do something to change that direction or change that course. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, I don't have to live with regret. But now I've learned to use that as a tool. And what I mean by that is I intentionally put myself in a position where it's going to force me to step up. And that's where I always talk about taking on some project or taking on something because feeling uncomfortable, feeling nervous and scared, there's only one reaction from me and it's to step forward because that's the only way that I feel like I have control. And now I've, I'm so proud of my wife because I think she finally understands that. Like when you put yourself out there, you are forced to step up. And the more that you do that, the more that you take these unforeseen circumstances and you find a way to step out of that, that is what leadership truly is. I think we think leadership is leading people and also it's not. It's about you. It's about you understanding how to maneuver around the obstacles and maneuver around the challenges and figure out how to motivate yourself. And then, only then, can you lead others to do the same exact thing? That is leadership. And so I hope this helps you guys. Like I said, I'm hoping one day to, to have her on the show so, that, so you can hear her side of it. But it was a privilege to watch her journey and watch her evolution and, and the evolution of her confidence and the evolution that you went from being a stay-at-home mom trying to figure stuff out to now working at UCLA. How amazing is that? So every time that you feel like some failure or some setback means that you're an absolute failure, don't be so hard on yourself. Stay positive. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this uh, episode helps someone out there who has hit some, some wall and to know that there's other people out there that have experienced the same hardships that you have. And you can change your stars. You can change your stars. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode, guys. Always remember, awaken the leader inside. Until next time.
Make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell on the top, right? Now it's time to get to work and let's make it happen.